This is me heavily beaten by my friend in the so called game named Tic Tac Toe. Even though it was the simplest one ever to play, I had no idea how to play or any tactics to dominate. So, today I'm gonna walk you through how I did manage to come up with a solution to dominate this game, as well as how does it feel to face the same person who beat you two years ago in the same simple game. But there is a catch because there is no guarantee you can win this game. I'm gonna explain that later. But there is one proven method you can follow which will save you at least from losing. No, not this one. And each time my hand goes out of my chest, he's gonna beat up by that many eggs. But man, why me? But first, let me remind you guys that the game is played on a grid that's 3 by 3 You are X and your friend is O. Players take turns putting their marks in the empty squares. The first player to get 3 of the marks in a row that is vertically, horizontally, across or diagonally is the winner. And when all the 9 squares are full, the game is over. It kind of pinched me losing like this not playing the tactics because I'm good at school and game so losing like this wasn't an option for me so I did how to do another smart individual computer science world in this planet I googled it so smart According to some Google articles, if it's your first move, then you start from the center, cause then you'll have a higher chance to make the 3 marks row up, down, across or diagonally. And uh, yes, theoretically it's right, but that doesn't work in practically, cause your opponent can always block you to make your 3 marks row, and you can do the same to your opponent. They all have their explanation whether if it's your first turn and you start from the center or bottom left corner or top right corner, or if it's your second move, whether you're just trying to block your opponent, cause there are 9 rooms and you're going to have only 4 of them which is unless then your opponent there is no guarantee you can win this game not even a slight bite if both players apply perfectly a tie is a must you can compare it to a badminton rally a long rally continues until the shuttlecock falls and the other opponent wins it's the same for tic tac toe it continues to tie until and unless one opponent loses his focus and the other takes the advantage so after all these resources and practices it was finally time to once again face her and dominate the game especially let her not to win we agreed to play third rounds this time but before i'm gonna beat her this time or at least not losing this time, we total focus on the game we had an end of semester party when we had to visit the city to have some chill moment. And I was mostly practicing. And here she comes to disturb me. And uh, continue to disturb me. Even if I didn't. What is she? Now when all the party was end and we're not exhausted anymore with our exams, it was finally the day to play the game once again. We played third rounds. And if I'm being honest, this is the result. I lost again it's because the only technique i didn't follow i lost my focus from the game that's the only thing that will keep you away from winning or tying the game and this is the same reason she lost once like in the first of her wins i was trying to film this video and eventually i got distracted from the game and wasn't focused enough to follow the one proven method she took advantage of now here is the proven method which will save you from losing if your opponent starts with the center don't start with adjacent blocks if it's your second turn then your opponent will have a chance to create a three block of L shape with two adjacent block MP which will let you down. It's safe to play the corner when your move is second. Try this. So I had to make that up by winning at least once. So I used a very illegal technique to distract her. I started gossiping about random things. Like here, I was just asking her a question about like, he's a good player, right? Do you think he's the coach? Um, but isn't it too young to be a coach? Mm, maybe he's the captain? Mm, what about this guy? He's playing good, I think and so on and thus her mind was diverted from the game and i took that advantage and she realized that after losing that round i have no excuse why i lost the second one it's the same bite i took what i planned for her in the end tic tac was a really simple one to flip and the uncertainty of winning makes it simple because the odds are equal so we shook our hands appreciated each other's effort and enjoyed the rest of the evening not knowing if we ever had this chance again in our graduation or not and here's the moment as it for.
Thanks for watching.